Today we're talking about the Epiphone Prophecy Les Paul. This is a monster of a guitar. You need to buy this if you appreciate modern approaches to guitars. If you appreciate modern rock, modern metal, this thing can definitely get it done. It is one of the most intense and um, serious guitars that I've had. This is a serious guitar and I can't help but take it seriously every time I pick it up and play it. And why do I take it so seriously? Well, it has some serious firepower going to it. With the Fishman proprietary pickups, you have two active pickups that can churn out not one, not two, but three different modern voicings. So you can play three different styles of guitar with this, theoretically. In regular, when you pull on the knob, you get a PAF sound. pull on the tone knob, you get a single coil sound. So it's extremely versatile and it means a lot to have a guitar that has two humbucking voicings and single coil capabilities. That's usually my biggest concern when buying guitars is if it has a single coil ability. I don't like to buy just, I, I don't like to have a guitar that's just constrained, um, but at the same, I, I, I want it to have a lot of different options, a lot of different tonal options, and this guitar really gets it done for me. You can do a lot with it, and you can really go for a lot of different styles with it, which is very nice. Now, the fact that it's these are active pickups, these are Fishman proprietary pickups, um, these aren't true pickups. They're not magnetic. Um, they're not coils wrapped around. They're not. It's not copper wire wrapped around the coils. It's in fact, just a bunch of circuits in the guitar. Some people don't like that. I'm just fine with it. I think that it's very nice. The sound sounds very strong. It has a very strong punch to it and it can get a lot of different styles done. So quickly, we'll go over the rest of the specs and then I'll just do some dirty and clean comparisons between the voicings. So in terms of specs, let's start from the top to the bottom. You have this gorgeous headstock here. You have six locking tuners, which is extremely nice. It will make changing strings very easy and very fast for you. It has these beautiful, beautiful abalone inlays in uh, the, the fingerboard markers. It has 24 frets, which is extremely nice. I don't like to be constrained to 21 or 22 frets. Having the full 24 range is very, very nice. The asymmetrical neck profile means that you can't simply define this as a round D or a round C or modern C. It does kind of change up and it's a very comfortable, very, very comfortable neck profile. It's one of the most comfortable I've ever played by far. To enhance the comfort, you have a very nice belly curve right here. And you have this neck heel to allow you access to the upper frets and make it much easier to reach these upper frets, which is very, very nice. Now, standard kind of Les Paul stuff going on here. You have your three-way switch and you have four different knobs. You have two volume knobs, two tone knobs. One thing I need to add about active pickups is that they do require a battery to power up. So when you pull this out, you'll see a nine volt battery. It's a bigger, chunkier battery. You can either go this route or you can install a Fishman Fluence um, battery recharger. It you, you put it in the back and you can plug it into like a USB um, cable and that'll charge it up and that'll charge your pickups and uh, I've heard great things about that but I'm okay with sticking with the 9 volt battery for now and just changing those out as needed I have not had any problems with the battery dying out I bought this new from Guitar Center I've been using it the same battery ever since it's been working completely fine 
So I'm looking forward to um, letting you know about the longevity, but the longevity I've found is works well for me. Now, with all of that being said, I'll tell you a little bit about why I love this guitar and then we'll finish out the video if you want to just hear the sounds of the guitar. So why I love this guitar is one, because it looks badass. It looks really, really cool. It kind of reminds me of a silver burst, <laughs> like what Adam Jones has, not the fresh pristine one, but a, a dirty greenish uh, silver burst. So I love that look to it. And I love this gorgeous binding on the outside. It's just very pleasing to the eye. I know that I said on another video that I don't like binding on certain necks. What I said was that when the fretboard is light and there is binding, I have a problem with the guitar because it looks cheap. This has binding on the neck, but very, very dark ebony fingerboard. So it's a wonderful combination. And I don't think that they could have done it any better, really. Having the binding all the way through is a perfect touch. The contrast between light and dark is perfectly struck with this guitar. And I truly appreciate that. Um, on top of that, Les Pauls are just great. Les Pauls are a wonderful instrument. I love the shape. I love the sound. I love the feel. It feels substantial. And I love that feeling. Um, so that's pretty much it with, with the specs. It's, it's a real guitar player's guitar because you can do a lot of things with it. I wouldn't knock it down just because it says Epiphone on the top and not Gibson on the top. I think that Epiphone's construction and their guitars are really top of the line. I also have an SG um, from Epiphone that I really, really like, and I've grown past the need to say Gibson on the top just because all of my guitar idols played their Gibson Les Pauls. I don't feel ashamed at all of holding this just because it says Epiphone on the top. I'm proud of the fact that Epiphone can make such a substantial instrument um, for the price. So if you can afford it, definitely recommend buying one of these. It's it's a must have. So let's start on the bridge pickup in the modern. So nothing's, nothing's pulled up. This is how you would just normally find it. All the knobs are just down. <laughs> It's the bridge with the PAF voicing. Let's try the single coil. That happens when you pull up the tone knob. Just doing the modern. Um, yeah, I, I can do, I'll pull up just one.
pretty good, pretty loud. Definitely does the trick. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Are you gonna buy this? I suggest you do. I suggest you buy it ASAP. Leave in the comments your thoughts. All right, thanks, bye-bye.